Hey guys, Chris here with Frame Force Chica, uh, sharing my latest creation, giving you ideas on what to make for yourself. Um, I decided to make myself a night area uh, balm. I usually use like my oils, you know, like I have like my Chica Linda, that's acai plus maracujá. It works very well, but I wanted something like a little bit more, like, you know, a little bit like thicker, more, like, you no know, more serious. I'm getting older. Uh, we all are, I guess. But uh, so I came up with this and I was super happy with like my ideas. So um, I want like in a balm form so that it has a little bit of like you no know, beeswax in it. So I decided for these two butters, okay, Kupasu. Kupasu is known as like the vegetable lanolin. Lanolin attracts water, okay? It attracts water, so even you say like, oh, fats have no water, you cannot be hydrating, it, you can. Okay, and bakuri. Bakuri is like just an amazing butter, like, you know, full of like a bunch of properties, but I, I chose it because um, it's like anti-hyperpigmentation, like, you know, like uh, action. So I know that like, you know, like dark circles is usual, like, you know, like, you know, hereditary or like, you no. Know, some like other health issues it's usually like, dark circles on their eyes it's not usually like you know just like the skin hyperpigmentation but it it won't hurt and then i chose prakashi of course because if you guys know me or anything about me you know that prakashi is like my favorite 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 baby and it saves my skin my face uh against like really bad like melasma so i chose prakashi prakashi is like more like a dry oil so I added anjiroba. Anjiroba is an oil that in Brazil is almost like, you know, considered like a medicine. They use uh, for bites and allergies and stings and warts and everything. Um, so I was like, you know what? It won't hurt and it may even help if like, you know, like a little bit of like, you know, conditions or something that if you haven't. Um, so, but guys, this recipe is basically just like melt and pour. Get yourself a very clean uh, jar, melt, like first you melt like the wax, the hardest to the softest, okay? Melt your, wax, like melt your wax, then melt your butters, then add your oils. Let the oils like get a little bit hot because when you add the room temperature oils uh, to your mix, the wax is going to want to solidify again. So you're going to have to like hit it. Guys, it's not gonna like, you know, like get your oil rancid right there. Like, don't make a huge quantity. Make like an amount that's enough for yourself and like to give like out to a couple of friends. Uh, but no, the oil is not gonna go like rancid because you heated it once, okay? Uh, so, this is what I came up with. Uh, since it has cupuasu and cupuasu attracts, like now helps like holding water like on your skin. Uh, the way I recommend using this one is just like this, uh, using on like a little bit damp skin, you just don't go like this and drag on your eye area, okay guys? You go like this and you, just a little bit less, and you melt between your fingers and when it's melted that's when you apply in your eye area. Do all the massaging that you do, it's the lymph nodes or whatever but uh just don't grab a big chunk and drag around your like no eye you know like your eye area like it's like the skin that area is very sensitive so be nice to it um i keep my, my i keep my house uh kind of like warmish i guess for most people's standards so um you can like also like play around like you know like with the amount of like wax you're gonna use but look this spreads like it doesn't get oh wow it doesn't get like dark or anything it spreads very well okay it spreads super beautifully but anyways since i was i guess i was like you know what but this is like a night time kind of like no stuff what about during the day and then like it popped in my head okay i'm gonna make like a protective like you no know, butter for daytime so what did I do? I went to my two butters that are considered like the vegetable silicon. Silicon. So they form a layer on top of your skin to protect it. So it's like, wow, it protects you against like, you know, pollution and makeup and other things. And then I was like, okay, so what are the oils that I'm going to add to that? Uh, so I added maracujá. 
like passion fruit oil because passion fruit is a uh, has a bunch of like a has a oh my gosh relaxing properties and it's a light oil i love maracujá it's such a beautiful name in portuguese right maracujá uh i add acai for its uh antioxidant antioxidant and like anti-aging properties and and that's the reason it's like like orange I added buriti for its amount, like a like super high amount of like beta carotene. So I figured that if you're gonna go out during the day and stuff, so you could like use it. Um, the texture is pretty much the same, but this one you don't need to apply on damp skin. This one can be on dry skin, you know? And you just do the same thing. You get it and just solve it. Since these two butters are a little bit softer like than my other two butters, uh, it's gonna like you no know, like melt like faster on your on your hands. Um, uh, the recipe is I'm sharing the recipe like on below the video, and you can tweak it. You can you know like Tucuman and Murumuru. If you just wanna buy one butter, go for Tucuman. That's a little bit like you know like uh, softer. If you have just Murumuru, go for Murumuru. Uh, Kupuasu and Bakuri, I recommend both of them, okay? This mix is not gonna like look great like if you just use Bakuri. Uh, if you're between Prakashi and Anjiraba, go for Prakashi. If you don't wanna buy three oils to make it, you go for Burichi and Acai or just Burichi will work out too. Um, you can mess up with like, you know, the, the wax amounts, but just lightly. If you're gonna take this butter with you anywhere, remember that if it's too, like, uh, too soft, this butter, I mean, this, this balm, if it's too soft, it's gonna melt in your purse or whatever else you use it. Um, so it's just basically melt and pour, like both things for both of, like the same thing for both of them. Uh, this recipe that I like, that I'm gonna write like now below, it was enough for three of these two ounce like tins. But uh, you can make just a smaller, like you can cut the recipe in half or you can make like now give to your friends, I bet that they're gonna like love you for that. So that's day, this is night. Um, I've been using these since I came back from Brazil, so about like 15 days ago, and I've been pretty impressed with myself. <laughs> uh, I still use like, I use like, sometimes I just use oil, or I use like, my, my customers make amazing things, some customers with business, but try this out, you won't regret. This is Crazy Frame for Chica, and thank you for watching.